In today's video, I'll talk about uh, some uh, personal success factors that you would want to consider preparing uh, going into pretty much uh, any job interview, uh, whether it's, uh, it's a phone screening round as well as an on-site interview. Now, these personal success factors are nothing more than some unique qualities that you have. The, why I branded these uh, this way is because of uh, Robert uh, Reynolds' book, The Interview, which uh, gave me this idea. And uh, speaking of these ideas, I'm also going to present you right now with uh, quite a few of e examples of these uh, personal success factors uh, in case you would want to inspire yourself from here. Uh, but uh, probably the more interesting part is to, to convince you a little bit on why is this uh, important and maybe give an example of where this can actually make a difference here. So let's start with why is this important. Um, in a job interview, most of you will know that uh, you the best approach to, to prepare that interview is to prepare a couple of stories, both uh, about your successes, but also about your failures that you would want to use with your interviewer when they ask you any question. Now, the problem is that uh, while uh, while presenting your stories, uh, your interviewer will also have uh, many tasks, many other tasks at, at hand, such as you know to screen you for uh, many different things, as well as to take notes, as well as for them to build a picture of yourself in order to, for them to eventually to make a higher or no higher recommendation or to filter you um, for a phone screening round. So. Um, I guess my point here is that interviewers are not necessarily great listeners. Yes, of course, you know, uh, there are interviewers who are better than others, but you should not assume that interviewers are great listeners. So if they're not great listeners, then um, what can you do to improve your chances to communicate your message and to ideally better brand yourself in this, in this context? And this is why, you know, these uh, uh, personal success factors uh, come in handy here. So. Um, for example, um, if, uh, if the interviewer would ask you, um, tell me about the time when you had to solve a difficult problem, right? This is a behavioral question. And then you, you would genuinely take a story uh, from your experience and talk about a time when you solved that difficult, difficult problem and you would quantify it, you would use a star format, you would uh, talk about it for no longer than two minutes, you would be concise and then you, you'll be done. But um, the problem here is that you, you will not automatically talk about your own qualities, your best three to seven qualities that uh, you, you wanted to talk about uh, to advertise, your, to sell yourself better in an interview. So for example, if my, my qualities would be persuasiveness and being calm with respect to problem solving, uh, then, you know, if I knew, if I'd have this at hand and I knew, hey, I want, to, um, I want to mention I'm persuasive and calm at the same time, and I use these keywords in my two-minute answer to uh, time I had to, to solve a difficult problem, this will significantly improve my brand as uh, the right type of candidate for the role. Uh, so this would be one example where, you know, preparing this list of uh, personal success factors will actually make a difference in an answer that I'm giving you. And uh, this could, of course, apply to pretty much any behavioral question. But even more interestingly, uh, if you manage to extract something interesting, some, uh, some success factors from the job description I'm talking here, um, and correlate them with some of your personal success factors and blend them together in your answers, that's where you know it's going to be even more interesting. So long story short here, uh, you should, in my opinion, take your time to, to decide uh, three to seven, in my opinion, such personal success factors that you would want to use, uh, even if you code them as keywords uh, throughout your interview. But so long as you have them next to your stories, I believe that's uh, an even better method to, to prepare for a job interview.